The first pictures now coming in from Puerto Rico after taking a direct hit. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island, and as you heard, one official saying the island is destroyed. Maria is the first Category 4 to hit there in nearly a century. 150 mile an hour winds ripping buildings apart, knocking out power everywhere. All of the electricity is out tonight. People ordered to stay inside until at least tomorrow amid fears of more massive flooding to come. And the satellite image tonight showing Maria's massive size dwarfing the island. No part of it was spared. ABC's Victor Akendo leading us off from San Juan tonight. Tonight, Maria's direct hit devastating Puerto Rico. The first Category 4 storm to strike Puerto Rico in 85 years, slamming ashore around sunrise. We are back here on the northern side of, uh, of San Juan here. I can only imagine what went down when this thing made landfall in the southeast corner of this island. Obviously, the eye getting closer and closer to us. That eye wall now scraping the northern beaches here. Roofs peeled from buildings, debris flying. <laughs> Structures collapsing. Up to 30 inches of rain in some areas, engulfing whole neighborhoods. Michelle Torres using everything she can to keep the water out. The wind howls and screeches, the doors rattle. We are outside of San Juan in the town of Guaynabo. It was hit very hard. A lot of destruction to homes, down trees and power lines as well. And now they're dealing with this, flooding in every direction. The emergency management director saying the entire island is destroyed. Many of these homes not built to withstand any hurricane, let alone a Category 4. Well, the hurricane came and took my house. Is it all wind damage? Is that what happened here? Wind damage. Hospitals damaged, running on generator power. We're standing on one of the busiest thoroughfares in all of San Juan, Puerto Rico, the John F. Kennedy Expressway. Not a single car in sight. We're the only ones out here. Emergency management now confirms 100% of Puerto Rico now without power. Everywhere you look, down power lines like these, which stretch right across the expressway. 12,000 people heeding the call to get to shelters, including our hotel's ballroom. Evacuees moved off this arena floor due to safety concerns. The howling wind piercing the darkness. Terrified residents singing about strength during trying times to ease the fear. David, you can see the damage right here behind me. This is what so many streets across San Juan look like tonight. Officials saying many areas will be uninhabitable for weeks, maybe even months. They're urging people to shelter in place. They've issued a curfew, and the governor now saying he is launching search and rescue teams as we speak. David. Victor Rakendo leading us off from San Juan. Victor, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.